lubrication system. The lubrication system consists of a drain tank which acts as a reservoir for storage of oil. Drain tank is a double bottom tank located in the aft of the engine room. The system consists of two sets of oil pumps. The purpose of having two pumps is that if one pump fails, the other pump can take over and continue the operation. Pump draws suction from the drain tank and sends it to the oil cooler. The cooler cools the lubricating oil and maintains the temperature of oil within acceptable limits. The cooling medium used in a cooler is air or water. The oil reaches the full load condition header tank from where it overflows to ballast condition header tank. Both the tanks have an outlet valve located at the tank bottom. Overflow from these tanks is led to the drain tank via a side glass. Pressure head exerted by the oil level in the header tank and water draught are monitored by noting the pressure gauge values. A drain value is fitted to check water intrusion. The small pressure differential of oil ensures water exclusion. The lubricating oil passes through the stern tube bearing. The oil pressure is sufficient to generate hydrodynamic fluid film lubrication. Since static head generates oil pressure, it is sometimes referred to as static lubrication. The diagram also shows a lubrication system for the forward seals. The oil circulation within forward seals is achieved by natural convection. Oil in the forward seal tank is cooled by a cooler. In some cases, the tank is provided with radiator fins on the tank surface. The air in contact with the fins cools the tank which in turn cools the oil. You are looking at a simplex type stern tube. The simplex stern tube consists of forward and aft seals. The seals work in conjunction with oil lubricating bearings. The aft sealing assembly consists of two main and one auxiliary sealing rings. All sealing rings are spring loaded and are able to seal any position of the shaft. The forward sealing rings prevent oil leakage to see. Spring load and oil pressure of the system. Lip seals hold oil within the stern tube and accept slight misalignment. The elastic lip of each nitrile rubber seal grips the short chrome steel liners. Chrome steel liners are located at aft and forward ends of the propeller shaft. They act as rubbing surfaces for lip seals. The liner at the aft end protects the steel shaft from seawater and corrosion.